What's going on guys? So close to almost finishing our game. Uh, what we're going to do in today's tutorial is fix, you know, the score continuing to count and, uh, you know, some other stuff because that's going to be pretty quick. So let's go into our run method and within our while loop, again, we use this game over variable of this class and then we refer to the ball variable, see where the ball is and see if there's a game over within the ball class that we set up in the last tutorial. Again, we could always just refer to this variable if we wanted. We didn't even really need to have this variable, a variable, but uh, you know, we might as well since we set it up. Sometimes I just don't think. All right, so we're going to go down to our score plus plus here and all we're going to do is we're going to say if uh, game over um, and we're actually going to put an exclamation mark in front of it saying if that's not the case um, because again right now if we're checking a boolean value game over is uh, you know if the game was over this would be set to true and then we would add one to the score and a normal if statement but again with the exclamation mark it's saying if it's not true saying if it's false then we're gonna add one to our score so let's save this run it and make sure that works yep looks like we got a score of 51 alright the next thing that we need to do is actually allow our player to stand a chance because right when the game starts there's no platforms there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our start method up here where we set up our random platforms and we're actually going to uh, uh, change this so for our first platform, we want to, you know, our first seven platforms just to kind of cover the whole screen. So we will say uh, for platform I again, and we're going to create a new platform for the X position. We probably just want it to start at zero. So we're going to say, you know, zero times the platform width. So we're just going to say times, you know, 120. And then for the height, we aren't going to give it a random variable at all. For height, we're just going to give it like a 200. Is that good? No, 300. We'll say right in the, about in the middle of our game. And we're getting an error here. So when we first set up our platforms, as you can see, they're going to be just uh, you know side by side touching each other. Uh, 300 pixels. So let's save that, run it. And as you can see, our player now gets you know a starting edge and he's like okay that's a green that's probably a good thing and uh, he's like alright gravity went down a little bit so you know it gives him a little bit of advantage a little bit of time to get ready to click into the applet and actually you know start going because again we need to do that as you can see we still have the speed up at about a thousand and you know here is our game so far so uh, again let's try and commit suicide and make sure our score stops it does 1795 and it says game over in the next couple tutorials we'll actually have a try again here where uh, we'll talk about like mouse events so if we hover over it'll change the color of the try again if you click it it'll restart the game um, and we'll talk about you know how that works because a few people have been talking about like how do you create a menu um, and it's kind of the same concept of of you know this try again feature that we're going to add to our game. So again, I'll catch you guys later and uh, subscribing might help prevent global warming.